What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over some news stories you might have missed over the last couple days, starting with one that is fresh, and that is City Skylines 2. We had heard a lot about this. I think there was a lot of rumors that this was going to happen, so it wasn't all that surprising. I'll be honest, I forgot what day their showcase was. I thought it was later in the week, so it was a surprise that it was today, but they showed the trailer, not actual gameplay, right? So they show this amazing. I mean, it's a really really good trailer but it's not the actual game however there were people from years ago I was watching one guy on YouTube they actually gave people insider access back in 2021 they had to sign NDAs they couldn't say anything until now when this trailer was uh, revealed so the game comes out this year right I mean with people playing it years ago that seems uh, kind of obvious and one extra tidbit it's on game pass day one so another really good I mean this is kind of a sneaky one right because City Skyline sold a boatload of copies this is an, not only an incredible game and one of the best you know kind of city simulators out there but it's also a game that's sold extremely well so for game pass to get it on game pass um, that's excellent value for us you know as the consumer so no date but 2023 again game looks fantastic I, I say that knowing what we saw wasn't the actual game but speaking of games that came out of nowhere Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 was announced yesterday huge huge deal my cousin showed me the trailer he texted it to me i looked it up holy dear god these games have a lot of memories to a lot of people if you actually go back and look at like their review scores and all that they've never actually been considered all that good i think they all three of them the, the past three have gotten like in the low 70s i do remember playing them back in the day and i i really like them I didn't really care about review scores, at least in that era. I guess I don't really care about review scores now. Yes, they definitely had their problems, but I mean, you just look at the excitement online for this game. People are so excited and so ready for this game. Very little details about the game. Really, we only know the consoles, right? PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. So like next gen, or I mean current gen at this point. Come on, we're two and a half years in. We got to start calling it that. But I'm personally ready. I think the world is personally ready and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what comes next and final just little news story i want to talk about redfall so they had confirmed earlier today cross play in it so any platform that you can get redfall on you'll be able to play it with other people i think that's incredibly important especially for a game like redfall right we'll have to see how it functions how fun it is if you're not playing it with a group of friends right that's one side of things but then i mean it's not unfair to say this game was probably built with playing with friends you know in my mind right being able to play with others so the more you're able to do and I've said this before for games like Gotham Knights that didn't have it right Suicide Squad actually will these are just some games that come up on the top of my head these games are very important I think to have cross play just open it up to as many people as possible to play it with other people if you if you don't have cross play I really think that would hurt sales I think you would have people not buy the game say because they can't play with their friend who has another system or whatever I, I think that hurts sales so having cross play is definitely a safe bet and something you should do and they do have it so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on and i hope to see you all on the next one